Q&As have become one of my favorite things to do. I love answering questions from you guys. I love um, having a safe place to do it in. Um, so here we go. How do I keep my energy up and do I have days that I feel flat and tired? I, that's actually most of my days. I exercise to, to get more energy. Um, I, I do fall around four o'clock to the point where I ask my team, I'm like, Where, wait, you guys are a lot younger than me. What are you guys feeling? I do have a coffee around four. Um, I shouldn't admit that, but I do. I have it probably almost three times, four times a week. I take ritual vitamins, which I do think help. Um, I juice a lot. I will Kelly Levesque and have a little bit of fat, whether it be like a, you know, like an almond butter bra, you know, ball or something like a peanut butter ball or something sweet that kind of gives me a little bit of energy, gives me a little bit of fat. Um, but I do, I eat something normally around four um, because then it, it, I'm not like starving towards um, dinner and it does give me a little bit of energy. And I take a lot of B vitamins and I do a B12 shot as often as I can. What are my favorite brands for hair products? I love Virtue. Um, I just got introduced to them through Liz Young who works with Tracy Cunningham at Mesh Salon here in Los Angeles. I love the conditioner, I love the mask. I love Olaplex. Um, they have a great oil, they have a great shampoo and conditioner. I have very damaged colored hair, so I have to really take care of it. Um, recently, Jen Rachel, who I work with here in LA, um, brought me back to Big Sexy Hair, uh, which is a great um, volumizer that I spray in almost every three days. It really gives it a lot of body. And I love a dry shampoo. I love Chlorine. I love, I love Dry Bar. Um, I love my triple sec from Dry Bar. Um, but those are really like my staples and I also love a good Elnet hairspray. My favorite brands for jeans are Silver Lake, which is very new. It's LA based. Moosey, which is a Japanese brand. And Ammo, A-M-O. My favorite meal to cook for my family is pasta. I love uh, a, like a, a pesto pasta, pine nuts, Parmesan, it's so good. I love it. Um, I also can cook a really good steak, better than my husband. I know we're not eating that much meat, but if you ask me what I like to cook, I like that. And I love, um, oh yeah, they're like saying turkey chili. My family loves turkey chili and I can do a great um, pot of turkey chili. I really actually love to bake more than I like to cook. So on average each week, I probably bake 72 cookies, three to four pans of brownies, um, a unicorn cake, a rainbow, something or other, other added in sprinkles. But yes, we make a lot in this house. My New Year's resolution for 2020, and I've actually been thinking about it a lot, I think because of technology and where it's going is to spend less time on my phone. That at six o'clock, I'm done. I think I have to be a better um, example for my children and for my team to be off my phone, to be more present and I think it's important for me as a mom of three to really model that behavior and it's starting to, you know, make me feel like I'm I'm not present. I'm like, it's like one email, two emails, one text, three texts, you know, Instagram, social, Facebook, you know, Snap. It's like it's it becomes obsessive and I don't want to get on that wheel and I don't want my kids to see me get on that wheel. My team consists right now of two main people, Ashley Gasparian, she runs all my social, my branding, um, and then we just hired Marin Bellington, who's awesome. She is a graduate of Ole Miss, what, what? Um, and we kind of divide and conquer. Really, Ashley runs most of everything. She works with my um, manager, Alyssa Bradenberg from Untitled, and we all really work as a team. I work with a woman named Brooke Slavic young Alyssa Bradenberg. I mean, there's so many, Evo, Jean Berry, the list goes on. It takes a big team, you know, because I have so many different things going on and because I'm really trying to stay local in LA and be with my children, um, it takes a lot of moving parts. Um, I'm writing a third book and I just went um, with an amazing new book agent. Her name's Andy, she's from, um, I think her company's called Empire. And I work with a great video company who's actually videoing me now named Tim & Co. They're that shit. They're awesome, they make me pretty, they make me glow, they make me sound good, they make me, think, they make me do things over and over. 
Um, I love different foundations. Uh, people always ask me that question. I love IT foundation. I love clay de Poe. It's like my staple. I literally try to use a little bit because it's so freaking expensive. Um, I love Laura Mercier. I think always makes a great foundation. Um, again, they have a matte and more of a, a dewy, um, creamier foundation. IT Cosmetics makes a great foundation. Fenty makes a great bronzer. Um, Hourglass uh, does a great bronzer. I tend to like bronzer that are not super, super shiny, metallic-y. Um, I think they photograph better. It's um, a little bit more flattering. I think you have to be careful when you get so much highlight and glitter. I do cellulite treatments. I should probably do more cellulite treatments. I dry brush, I lotion, I, what else do I do? Oh, I cool sculpted a few years ago, which I totally believe in and I think it works. I did it on my stomach. I, um, but now I think you can do it on your, I think you can do it on your arms. You can do it on all different places in your body. What else do I do? Cellulite's so hard. I mean, honestly, like, I, this is gonna sound crazy, but like a good fake tan, a spray tan, it's honestly the best for cellulite. Like especially if I'm going away and it's in the dead of winter and I'm trying to do less sun. So Alexandra from Tan Lux, she is the bomb, she's amazing. And I love her because I don't look orange, I, look, I don't look too tan, it just really evens out my body, especially my booty, and my tummy. So I love you, and a good, I think a good, honestly, a good spray tan is, is great for cellulite. I'm in the process of writing my third book. Um, it's a little bit about resetting your life. You know, are you in the driver's seat? Are you in neutral? Are you in reverse? Um, it's really great for young girls in their 20s and their 30s and their 40s uh, about being stuck and just kind of, you know, kind of the ebb and flows of life. And it's something that I'm super passionate about. And we're working every week writing it. Do my husband and I love Hollywood or do we wish we lived somewhere else? Well, I know he loves living here and I do love living in La La Land. I love, I have loved living many places. I was fortunate enough when I was in my 20s and early 30s to live in Europe. I got to live in Paris and London and Italy and travel and live in Germany. So I love, I feel like that little bit of a bug is, is, is still, there's still a flame there. There's still a light burning, but I love New York. You know, I think it's very hard to live there with three children, especially two boys who are very outside. And I love LA. I love LA because of my friends and I've made such great mom friends. You know, that's been a little bit difficult because I don't have a nine to five job and you know, I've had to force myself to say no. And that's been great because I've been more present with the moms that I'm gonna be, my children are gonna be hanging out with. Um, Hollywood, um, it's tricky. You know, Hollywood is, is tricky. I, I've been in the business. There's great things about a business and there's not so great things about a business. And I don't say that lightly, I just mean that's also with any job that you're in. I can do amazing things and travel you know, to so many incredible places that I would never be able to do had I not been in, in Hollywood and in the entertainment business. Um, there's a lot of good I can do um, that you guys help me with, that I'm interested in, that you back me in. I am a really big um, proponent of Baby to Baby in Los Angeles and now we're nationwide. We got picked from the Duke, the, the, um, the Duke and Duchess um, for their four charities that were picked um, for the birth of baby Archie. So listen, Hollywood, again, good and bad, but there's a lot of good that, can, that comes out of it as well. Uh, listen, it's tricky. Date night, you know, having those 15 minutes, maybe shower time. Um, you know, my husband and I love talking, so he like, <laughs> we were just exactly like, calls me a lot, super. Um, but we do, we make time, we take little trips, day trips. We, you know, as much as there's, if not two children in our bed, there's always Ruby. Like the other day, everyone was in our bed, like literally everyone. Um, it's hard. I think you have to calendar it out and that sounds really lame and, but you do. Like if I'm gonna have a date or have a coffee or have a glass of wine, like I kind of have to schedule it or I'll go early to meet him or I'll stay late. Um, it's tricky. I mean, we both have different jobs that take, up di that take us different places. We also try not to be gone so much apart. I think 
You know, my husband is really great at spending time with my family and I. Um, I know a lot of husbands who don't spend a lot of time with their spouse or their children, and I love that about my husband. I love that he is the type of guy who will coach about my kids' basketball team and then go into the, the bathroom at the gym and change into a tux and then go and do his job. But he will make the time from 5 to 6.30 to be that dad. And because he's that dad, I freaking love him more. I love him. I do. I, mean, I hate him sometimes, but I love him. What would I recommend someone single in their mid-30s to find love? Um, make it a job. And I mean that. Don't put it off, you know, put as much work into it as you possibly can. And when I say work, I mean be present in it. Think about it. If, if, if that's what you want, go after it. And I don't say it lightly. It's the same advice I got. It's the same advice. I could not continue to be on a TV show and be a gypsy and travel here and travel there. And I was never present for dates or I couldn't hang out with my friends. I had nothing that was, I had nothing stable. And so, you know, I was like, okay, I'm gonna be here for six months or I'm gonna be here for 12 months, I'm gonna date. And if that means um, going on a dating app, it's okay. I mean, but again, commit. If you're, you're a single girl, do not hang out with only married people. You're, it's, you've gotta switch groups too, and that's hard and it's not easy. And I, I say this because I had to do it, but most of my friends started, you know, living in another city. So I was forced to like, put myself out there. You're meeting a group of people at a bar, meeting your girlfriends, go half an hour, hour later. You're not gonna look lame because you're meeting people. But go there, sit, make, you know, make an effort, put it out there, put the energy out there, and I, I promise you, it'll come back. Three pieces of clothing I cannot live without. I am obsessed with my Golden Goose tennis shoes. I know now the whole world has, has them, but I love them, and I do think they are a core staple in your wardrobe. Um, I love my moosey jeans because I honestly get complimented on them probably two to three times a day. And I love, I love a coat, I love a jacket. I don't know why, it's just like every time I go to like shop or like find something, I'm like nine times out of 10, I will come home with one jacket. Like I bought one yesterday. We were doing our Christmas list. They left me alone next to Jenny Kane. I bought a jacket. Oh my God, my beauty schedule, it's so hard to be a girl. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I haven't like done laser hair removal in like 10 years, so Nurse Jamie, it, we're doing that. It's like once every five to six weeks. Yes, you have to shave before, and it's not like it used to be, so the girls my age, if you did this 10 years ago, it doesn't hurt. It's not like rubber bands on your skin. It's actually kind of relaxing, cold, hot, it was, it was fine. Um, I do Pixel with Nurse Jamie, which is like um, kind of like a clear, bright light. Um, which she does so many custom things, I don't know. But I love Dr. Bakshanda. I love how she does the micro needling. Um, you can do it with the PRP, or you can do it with the hyaluronic acid. Um, how often? How often? That maybe once every six months. With Pixel, once every six weeks. Um, sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen. I wear it every single day underneath my foundation or my tinted moisturizer. Um, I bleach or kind of color my eyebrows, which a lot of people don't realize because they're really, really jet black. And because I'm so blonde, I don't really love that contrast. Um, I do that once every like two and a half, three months. I color my eyebrows. Um, I do my nails every two weeks, three weeks. Um, I do gels, so they last a lot longer because I'm changing diapers and I'm always constantly bathing and doing things with my hands. Those are kind of like the main things I do. I love a good facial from Georgia Louise. She's in New York and LA. I love Shani Darden. She's mainly in LA. But again, just having a facial and I use my red light. That is one thing, especially if you're a little older and you have a lot of sun damage, using the red light for inflammation, that mask that you see people wearing, that's a great tool to invest in. They have a lot of great at-home devices that you can do as well. Am I having more kids? Hmm. I'm not gonna answer that question. That's all the time we have for today. I love, love, love answering these questions. We're actually gonna make this um, either once a month or at once every two months because we get so many questions on our social. Um, you guys subscribe, comment, ask me more questions. And I'll always tell you the truth. That's the one thing about me. Even if you guys don't wanna hear it, you'll always hear the truth from me. Thank you.